Hey everyone, Tim Ebers, working for the customer engineering team here at Wallarm. Uh, I'm excited to show you a widget off our dashboard today, uh, our CVE or Common Vulnerabilities and Exposures widget. Uh, this is often an overlooked widget, but there's lots of great information that you can see uh, in a quick glance. So let's take a look. So here's our dashboard for Wallarm, if you're not familiar. Uh, it will, you'll see as we move down um, towards the bottom, we have a list of CVEs. Uh, these CVEs are different uh, attacks that are that we're seeing in your attack perimeter. And when you click on these, you can actually flow right through uh, to the events that are creating these. So you'll see uh, here we have um, an event that's a path traversal that is using this CVE um, to try to attack uh, our perimeter. So if we go back and go, well, what is that CVE? Because it seems like something I might want to look at, or maybe this uh, this one is actually a little bit better. It's got a 9.8 score, uh, CVSS score. So this is an R config issue uh, that allows unauthenticated snippets of PHP to do SQL injections. Uh, so here you can see the CVSS score, uh, the attack vector, which is great, uh, the complexity to, uh, to create a or to utilize it. Um, so here this is very low. So uh, it would be a very easy way for someone to attack you. Uh, whether there's privileges required in these, uh, the scope of it, um, confidentiality, impact of, of data, uh, if, the, if the attacker uh, is able to expose this, um, integrity impact, as well as uh, availability impact. So again, lots of information right here in a little widget that often gets overlooked, the number of hits, the CVSS score, so we can actually sort by that. Uh, oh, and here's a log4j, that's always an, an exciting one to go look at. Um, so here's all of our log4js and uh, how they are being attacked uh, and those CVEs being attacked. You can see the search bar uh, actually has that CVE. So thanks for watching our CVE uh, widget presentation. Uh, if you have questions, want a demo, uh, just fill out the form uh, and ask for a demo. Thank you.